All right. So Tyler Lander, head in. It's fine. Okay. It gives that little puff. You know, in KSP one, sometimes engines gave that little puff too. When we turn to it. Okay, this is totally not anything like the orientation that we left it in. I just want to point that out. Anyway, yeah, even given how our orbit was progressing around the sun, there's no way it would end up turned like that. Because we were pointed vertically with respect to the sun. Well, it's a fine periapsis, for now anyway. And... It's going to take 47 days to get there. And we're trying to land on Tylo. Well, that wouldn't be a good place to meet up with Tylo. Let's keep it loose, correct the inclination first. Uh, I can't, let's not plot more than one thing at a time. That never works for us. Okay, so yes, this looks like it's getting sunlight. Is it? Yeah. It's the right position. Let's just follow it into the Jewel system, though we really have to turn to Jewel 3 pretty soon. I have to remember not to linger with this. Okay, Jewel Probe 3 is following along into Jewel SOI, but we're doing this first. Alright, so capture burn for this. We're super duper pointed at the sun, game. <laughs> Just leave it like this. I'm not gonna turn it. I'll, I'll have SAS on. Here. See? No, is there really any signs around here? Oh, it made that little beep. Okay, 100 units. I think we can do that. Environmental data from low orbit around Jewel. It says 100 units, but oh well, no, that was 100 units of well, 200 units here, and then 250 over there. Okay, whoop. Okay, so the other mission is right there, Jewel Probe Three. This one, we would like to do a correction up here. Break that inclination with Tylo. And then also boost up to Tylo. So that gets it a little bit radial, so let's not do that immediately. We'll do that at Apoapsis. So just the inclination bit first. That's in five days. Okay. And we're not turning this. <laughs> it's getting sunlight, game. Well, here Jewel Probe 3 is approaching. Ah, this is 12 days. Okay, the other thing has to do its maneuver for more science. High orbit? Okay, well, transmit that then. Did you do that? Okay. Okay, and then at Apoapsis, 6 days. That seems really tight. We'll have to keep an eye on that Jewel Probe 3. You want to lift the orbit to Tylo's orbit. Ooh, that 1A and 2A are really close. Oh, they're not close anymore. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. The 1A and 2A are not the ones we want to be want to have close to each other. It's 1A and 1B. Fine. 447 though. It's a lot, but we have a lot, so it's fine. So six days and two hours. Let's see. So it looks like we're doing this first, and then Jewel Probe 3 will do its maneuver at Periapsis. Hopefully I didn't have to correct that much. Okay, well that is a Tylo adjacent Periapsis. But we have to pay attention to Jewel Probe 3 first for sure and get that captured. So, well, there's Jewel, Lathe, and... Whichever one that is. <laughs> Whichever one that is. Um, for this, we don't care about the inclination. We just need to pass through Jewel's atmosphere a lot. Um, to get the atmospheric probe science. I don't know how deep into the atmosphere, but we should try to go as slow as possible. So we need to just keep Retroing here. We could have used the moons to bring us down, but 
I'm surprised Leif isn't doing something. We must... Yeah, we have a really bad inclination with respect to it. We essentially have to get done with this stage anyway to free up this, the heat shield. So we're probably going into Jules' atmosphere with this. Alright, so... We'll do another burn at Apoapsis to dip that Periapsis down. We've got some RCS also. It's not just that Delta V. Okay, we are going to be in the atmosphere. I'm going to try 180 kilometers. We have to spend a certain amount of time to get the data. The other mission that's going to be coming in is sort of irrelevant if this works. Would Jupiter have like fluffy clouds like this? Hey, we should be in the atmosphere. Well, it's experiment in progress, it says. I was hoping this would show me how much progress it's making, but apparently not. I guess... Okay, we can click here. It's two minutes altogether. I could sort of use this dialogue being a lot tighter and the Delta V dialogue being a lot clearer, like, you know, with a larger font. The Delta V dialogue in the VAB in particular is really, really small. Okay, wow, we got... Well, unfortunately, we're not going to get the samples. But we've got the data, 1728, and we should have the mission done. Right? That. Oh no, it's right here. Transmit a return and atmospheric survey from Jewel. Oh, I guess I have to transmit it. 750 units. So we will wait until we're in daylight first. Okay, looks like we've got that. And we just need to get into daylight and out of the atmosphere. Very important not to stay in the atmosphere of Jewel, so we managed to maintain an apoapsis here, and we will be able to exit. Okay, well, the sun is <laughs> taking a while here. Oh, there we are. It's gonna be close. E ah! One unit. Come on, get that charge. Okay, that's two units, it says. Alright, we finished. Alright. Well, let's make sure this stays safe first. And then we shall land on Tylo. And we don't care about the other jewel probe. Oh well. That'll be good enough. Okay, so it's gonna stay in orbit. Oh, we got those dots again. I don't know what causes that. Huh. Weird. Okay, but uh, let's go to... Where are you? There. Tylo Lander. Alright. Tracking station. Geoprobe 2 is just gonna take forever. Yeah, it's entering all the way over there. So now, what we want to do is at our periapsis here-ish, where we're in potentially encountering Tylo, we are going to bring our orbit down and get an encounter. Uh, okay, that was it. <laughs> okay, so... Well, Tylo is sure perturbing us very convincingly. Shouldn't be hard to get to into orbit. So just 317, and then I can't plot it right now, but that's practically in orbit right there. Shouldn't take us long to get into orbit, but getting into a low orbit takes extra, and then we will land. But we have to figure out where the monument is, though. We've been pointing at the sun the whole time. <laughs> Fortunately, like every maneuver is us pointing at the sun. Oh, uh, uh, okay, well, I guess we'll go the other side. Okay, 
Well, it's a little bit higher than I was expecting, but we'll take that. All right, on to Tylo. Okay, so what will this monument be like? Well, let's transmit some signs from around here. Tylo. We must be cautious. Tylo... Tylo has significant gravity. Nope, there doesn't seem to be anything new even though it's blinking. Oh no, now there's something new. Okay, we really don't need it lower. We need to figure out the monument... Oh, the monument's actually equatorial, so we don't actually need to correct our inclination much. Okay, well, in that case, we can probably get into a lower orbit quicker. I don't know how long it's going to take for it to get into daylight, though. Well, will I end up regretting not sending a Kerbal? We're going to find out. Oh, I'll keep it like that for now. We'll wait until it's in daylight. So... Yeah, what we will do is, at our periapsis, we'll just bring it all the way down. Does mean most of the descent will be in the dark, though. Oh no, this is the wrong way around, isn't it? Okay, we won't bring it all the way down. We'll go like that, and then at the new periapsis, we'll bring it all the way down. Again, high low gravity. Better watch out. Okay, um, I forget if there's any way to get the burn times here. This is where I need the burn times. I still need those that little gear here. Oh, okay, that's too soon. It's in that little crater, huh? Okay. Probably we should do the moon thing and pitch up a little bit. No, 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 the other way. We're going too fast. Uh, yeah, this is why I need the burn times. Uh, I'm gonna abort descent. <laughs> I don't know if I can abort descent though, but I don't think we can slow down in time before crashing into the surface right now. Let's see if we can look at this, though. Not really. It's small. Oh, it's still crashing? That's 20 kilometers of periapsis. Interesting. Okay, well now we have significantly less delta V. And it's still 2,000 meters per second here. Let me go to the VAB and see how what the burn time is. Okay, you... 2 minutes and 35 seconds, that's not too bad. And then we're also using part of this stage. Um, no, I can't partly fill it like that. Uh, so let's say 3 minutes. 3 minutes and 1 second. Hmm. Could it be right? <laughs> uh... Hmm. If we do this, will we really be impacting there? I think we should give it some lead time. Oh great, we're in Fizz Warp territory. I mean, uh, limited warp territory. Let's go to the tracking station. Okay, second, second attempt to land on Tyla with the same lander. Gosh. Made me worry there's no maneuver. Why does it show that half the burn is done? <laughs> hmm? 
why, why does it do that? How am I supposed to understand that? <laughs> what does that mean for us? It says three minutes to that point. Hmm. But it's, uh, as we go along, we're going to be slowing down, so there's that. It's probably we need to start burning like two minutes before that point. I'd like to start, uh, considering we overshot last time, I'm going to start early. Staging. Gear down. Well, as expected, it's a little bit weird here. We'll get rid of that for now. Oh, it's it's going down. Ah, no, no, no. Pitch up, pitch up, pitch up, pitch up. A little bit north. Oh boy. We're coming in. Maybe a little bit further south. Okay, well, you have to come straight down a bit. Okay, a little bit further north and up. Wish I had stronger reaction wheels. But I always try to keep it light. They don't seem to be reaching it. <laughs> well, maybe if I go forward instead of trying to go up. Uh, we're south. We're probably not going to be very accurate, but this has been a good reminder of how Tylo works here. Which I definitely needed before I wanted to send a Kerbal over. Tylo is difficult. It's good to have practice. And we're gonna smack into the ground almost certainly. This is going to outstrip our Delta V capabilities. But I want to see that monument. Lift the braking time. I don't know what that is. It's got two globe thingies. E okay, well. KSP2 is not as forgiving as KSP1 is as far as lethal breaking is concerned. Well, it's some sort of figure with two globe thingies, but we have not officially landed there. We will have to try again. Should we try again with a Kerbal? <laughs> it seems dangerous, but we could just have a really, really big launcher with overwhelming Delta V in power because we don't have to pay for it. And I think that's what's going to happen. I, I'm not going to take a chance with a Kerbal. We are going to give that Kerbal as much capability as possible. And Tylo is a tough customer. Anyway, let's go back to the KSC. Anyway, I think that wraps it up for me today. And we'll have to try this some other time. But I think we're going to continue with the Tylo mission. So with that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.